Let's talk about a sea god who started out as a human and did a little reverse little mermaid and went from human to merman instead of merfolk to human. This is Glaucus and in my opinion he's gross. So Glaucus is kind of like the god of fishermen because he started off as a mortal fisherman. There are a couple of myths about how he eventually was turned into a sea god but my favorite is that he was fishing one day and he found some special herbs that he gave to the fish, the fish that he had caught, and then those fish became alive again? Like it revived the dead fish. So Glaucus was like, whoa, those fish were dead and now they're alive again after I gave them some magic herbs. I wonder what will happen if I eat those magic herbs. So he eats the herbs and it is true, he becomes immortal. However, he also grows scales and a tail and turns into a merman. Merman! The most well-known story about Glaucus is that he was very much in love with the nymph Scylla when she was a nymph and before she got turned into a horrible sea monster. He was obsessed with her but she didn't really like him back. So Glaucus sought out the help of the sorceress Circe, that was a tongue twister, to see if she might make a love potion for Scylla so that she would return his love. But unfortunately, Cersei had a big old crush on Glaucus, and instead of giving Scylla a love potion, she gave her a potion that turned her into the horrible sea monster that we know from Odysseus. So unfair. Poor Scylla. Anyway, this cute little sea slug is called a Glaucus. I love it when there's like bugs and stuff that are named after mythological beings. 